everybody eats pizza, you dumbass. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've done a car review um, and I have another action figure that I picked up from GameStop. It was actually on clearance. Let's take a look at that there. So it was actually half that price. It was about $9. Um, I actually don't collect the G.I. Joe ser series, but uh, I do collect Marvel Legends. So um, it's good to have things you could army build and have like extra characters around this is a kiko from the snake eyes movies uh gi joe origins i'm going to take this out and take a look at it and see what it could do uh this is a back graphic of the snake eyes movie um i'm actually happy that more of these figures are still out because i've been meaning to pick this up um it's actually cool that there's like a an Asian character out there that I could pick up um, and another character for just for variants of like my uh, my uh, toy photography so I'm gonna take this out and let's take a look at it. oh my All right, so pull this out got uh, snake eyes logo right over there really cool let's toss that box there's another tray shot Really cool. Pop this out. It comes with a bunch of weapons. It comes with a bow staff, which is really cool. And then a couple of uh, swords. I don't know what the technical term is for these swords, but that's really cool. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the figure. Hopefully the head is al already loose, which is kind of uh, messed up. Hasbro needs to that's been a trend with a lot of the Hasbro figures unfortunately you got this nice ab crunch there um, single jointed elbows and they try to cover it up with this here with the design see that there and then same thing here you got a, a thigh swivel, so that's cool. Both sides, double jointed knees. So let's see how far it can go. That's pretty good. That's actually amazing. Um, it looks like she's on wedges, which is interesting. Not, not a very ninja outfit. I didn't see the movie, so I have no context for this figure at all, but I just, I love the aesthetic of it. And it's also been a while since I've done a toy review for my car, so um, wanted to get that done. I do love the, um, what they did with the face. They added some variance to it, um, some rosiness to the cheeks, and then I don't see any splotches on the cheeks except for this with like one dot, which I'm just gonna call a mole. Because I got a bunch of moles on my face as well, so it's cool to, to see somebody with a mole on their face. <laughs> um, got a little swivel on the hands, and I think you could move it up and down, like like this here. You know, you can do that. Um, it's a little swivel on the, the torso too. There's a half crunch. Cool. And then a little tool on that. That's really cool as well. Um, I just, I really love the aesthetic of the figure. Initially, I wanted to turn this into. Um, in the 90s, there were uh, like Psylocke was a big character for me. Um, and so I wanted. There was a whole like clone saga of like Psylocke. And um, like Psylocke was not the original. Uh, and then the original came back and her name was Ravanchi. Um, which was kind of cool. So I was thinking of actually turning this into a, uh, like a Psylocke style character. 
but I just I want I think I'm gonna keep this as is uh, for like a background character. I mean, also I, I do really love um, wrestling figures, so to have like extra characters in the crowd that look normal, um, which would be would be really cool, just to have like extra characters in the crowd. So want to add that to like my wrestling and toy photography. So um, yeah, that's uh, that is my. Akiko G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes Origins action figure. I think it's really amazing. If you can go to GameStop and pick them up, um, they're still in stock. I got mine for $9, and I thought that was a really good deal. So check it out. Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care.